I was like, she's not even a chihuahua. What are you saying? And he was like, no, she is a chihuahua. Come on. I was like, she's not a chihuahua. The price is just too high. She's not a chihuahua. But she's going to be a tiny one, you know, an apartment one. And I was like, an apartment one. And he was, I will give you the, this dog for 10, 10 bucks. And I was like, damn, 10 bucks? That cutie? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And now she's my my baby. Time to seal them. This won't take too long. This is the scary part, guys. The moment of truth. Where your craft, your art can improve. Or look like crap. The painting will help you a lot if you have, I don't know, let's say, Lila. If your sculpture is not that um, impressive, the painting process, if you are a good painter, it can improve your, your art. I've seen it, I've done a lot of crap that has been greatly painted. I mean, I'm not such a great painter, but, you know, I try my best and <sighs> it is impossible for me to shut my trap. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be back in a minute. It's too watery. Painted a uh, glossy finish and I didn't believe it, but it's a really, really glossy finish. No, 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 this is this mal, hermana. Se, sa se sale adelante con lo que se tiene. And this bunny is actually a combination of my sister's bunnies. She used to have two bunnies, Sofia and Gabriel. And uh, Gabrielle was blonde like this. Gabriel was blonde like this. And Sophia, she was white with brown dots. One of her ears were, was partially brown and her face was partially brown as well. And she had uh, the ears this way. One was always straight and the other one was always... Uh, down and um, yeah, we used to make up stories about you know why I mean my sister she's very creative with stories and she she said it was because she was abducted by aliens you know and, I mean it was her dream since she was a baby to contact Aliens and one day her dream came true and she was abducted and the aliens kept communicating with her you know they installed in her but 
tiny little device it was like um her ear was cutting signals alien signals and we used to you know joke around that all the time like Sophie you're trying to communicate with aliens once again they will come after you and then unfortunately we merely had to uh, my sister had to she was abducted yeah she was abducted that's it she was abducted and uh, she lives now happily in another as for Gabriel, he became a writer. This is actually a portrait. A portrait of my sister's cat. The portrait of Crispy Queen. Because of her crispy fleas. <laughs> she also she also likes crispy flies. This babe it's actually really really aggressive. She has the mouth of a shark. Very very dangerous. But also super sweet. She's been sick for a very long time. She had like something like a tumor in her belly. And for me, for my sister, it was like oh, shocking, I guess, because she she would get sick and um, kind of um, yeah, letting herself go. She wouldn't eat. She wouldn't eat or, or walk anything. Just she would lay down and just like she was waiting to die. Yeah, resting the whole day and just pewing all the time, pewing and diarrhea for two weeks and my sister was actually doing the impossible to feed her and the surgery for her was also very expensive so while we were waiting to you know save the money to to get the surgery done she actually got better she had no problems for over two years, now. two years she's been super 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 all the time I hate I just can't wait saying super and she's been <laughs> super healthy for the longest period ever two years and it's the yeah. end she, she she gave back her shark appetite and she's the cutest and we actually forgive her everything you know because she's been so sick for so long and she basically does whatever she wants guys this is my my dog <laughs> And she is, she's like, so whatever. <laughs> and she's really old. Her name is Penelope. Spanish pronunciation, Penelope. But we all call her Loli. Lolita. Because we don't want to call her Pene. Because Pene means penis in Spanish. She's making a lot of trauma to come to my bed now. And I thought, oh, it's because she's losing strength in her legs. So I was helping her a lot to climb the bed and last night she just jumped like wherever. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with you? You're fooling me? When she was a pup, her head was so big for her body that she will actually fall. And I mean like, she didn't have stability when eating or drinking, even running, she would just fall on her face. And she was so cute, very shy. Well, I didn't want to buy her. I, I, I'm, I'm against buying dogs. I mean, I don't think it, there's nothing wrong, but 
if I have the chance, you know, to adopt a dog, it's, I really think it's better to adopt a dog. And so I was just walking around my neighborhood. There was this guy selling pups. There's a lot of that here in my country. I live in Narnia, guys. And um, so he, he was selling her as, like, he was lying everyone. He was saying that she was um, a chihuahua. <laughs> it was so stupid because it was obvious that she wasn't, but she was so tiny, so tiny, with a big head. I was just about to go away because what I like about these sellers is that, I mean, it's not that I like, I just like to, to cuddle the pups. Yeah, so I approached the, the pup seller and I was just cuddling the, the, the puppies. He was like, oh, buy her, he's a chihuahua. I was just not paying attention because I didn't have any intentions to buy her. And so I was about to go away and he was like, I will make you a discount on her because there was this preference for males. So I don't know, it pissed me off. I was like, she's not even a chihuahua. What are you saying? He was like, no, she's a chihuahua. Come on. I was like, she's not a chihuahua. The price is just too high. She's not a chihuahua. But she's going to be a tiny one, you know, an apartment. And I was like, and he was, I will give you the, this dog for 10, 10 bucks. And I was like, yeah, 10 bucks? That cutie? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And now she's my, my baby. And she grew. But, I mean, she's not that, that big. So, yeah, she's an apartment. Like, just like he said, an apartment dog. The perfect size. Yeah. That's her story. I like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Time to paint the piggy. I think the base color was perfect, so I don't think I'm gonna change it. Actually, I'm not sure how am I going to, to make the highlights. I think it's. I think I'm. Only going to work with shadows and see how it goes. I'm gonna see what to add or what not. Because the reference I have looks like it has a very soft fur, but I know piggies, piggies have a very thick fur. But anyways, I think it's pointless to to draw the hair. So. Let me see, let me see, let me see. The big gets done. I've added a few highlights. It's not very noticeable, but it's there. A few white hairs here and there just to give some shine and highlights. And I don't know what else to do. I think I'm I th I think I'm done with her, with him. I don't know. So yeah. I'm gonna add the dots of light on, on their eyes to see the final look. Oh, guys, I'm sorry for the chewing sounds. This is going to be the worst. Oh, damn. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm going to edit this part. I mean, my sister will like this part probably. But if you are interested in illustration, you can do it. Check my channel. <laughs> no, because I don't want to make a mess. I like putting illustration with sculpture. I think it's not proper 
I'm sorry guys, this is my focus voice. But if you want, but if in, and if you like the illustration, the watercolor, which is the medium I'm working with at the moment, I've been very interested in Japanese art, and so I'm learning how to paint with watercolors. So it's what I'm doing on the other channel. If you don't see me here, I'm probably there. So I have my UV raising and my lamp. Uh, this is a silicone thing. It's just for avoiding the mess that UV resin does. I didn't like to do dots of lights before, but now, even if I add UV resin, I think it looks great. It looks so sweet, so oh my god. Guys, it's pointless for me to try to do a. Oh, damn it. A S M R. Am I saying? Okay. The UV resin really enhance everything. Things you have to work fast with UV resin. It, it kind of doesn't blend. <gasps> I made so many mistakes. So many mistakes. Silly mistakes. But now I'm traumatized. Traumatized. This is the cutest brocetta ever. What you think? Sorry for the randomness of the video, but um, I don't know. Let me know if you maybe have enjoyed this process, or maybe I should just uh, put music. I don't know. <laughs> and shut. <laughs> and shut the hell up. So. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I, I really appreciate your support and your kind words in the comments and um, see you soon. Uh, take care, eat properly and um, yeah, a lot of blessings, a lot of love. Take care. Bye bye. Peace out. A lot, a lot, a lot of love. A lot, a lot of love. A lot, a lot, a lot of love.